Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Deep Rock Galactic. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. All right, today we're doing the deep dive, codenamed Bloodstained Arm. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. First stage has you escorting the drill dozer, so you're doing the Amaran Heartstone and repairing two mini mules. So unlike other missions where you have one optional objective, this one you have two mandatory objectives before you can move on. Now you can ride the drill dozer uh, most of the way, but since it's an escort mission, you will have to protect it from bugs, and when it does take damage, you'll want to repair it. There are three sections of the dozer that can take damage before the mission fails. Uh, you want to keep all of them repaired and healthy uh, so that you can maximize your chances of making it out in one piece. Now, because Deep Rock doesn't give you enough fuel for the entire mission, you're going to stop at least once along the way and you'll have to refuel with the oil shale that is along the walls and ceiling. So you'll have to look for it, uh, grab one of the tanks and fuel up. Now the mini mules, you won't see them on the terrain scanner, but you will hear them and you'll see them pulse uh, when you get close enough to them. So if there's two of them, like in this mission, uh, what you can do is you can scan one of them, look at the terrain scanner, look where the legs are on the uh, terrain map, and then uh, you should be able to see a cluster of them close by. Uh, but then if you're having trouble with the other one, before you finish, go ahead and look for the other cluster of legs for the other one. All right, so once you get or find uh, three legs that are missing, you can repair the mini mule, and then you can progress further with the mission. Because you won't be able to crack the armor and heartstone until you have both of the mini mules taken care of. Now the armor and heartstone it has four phases or layers to it and they are all uh, essentially uh, a slightly different but they all have uh, swarms of enemies that are going to be coming after you and the drill dozer trying to thwart your plans to get the armor and heartstone so if the dr drill dozer takes too much damage uh, gets down to zero percent on any one section then it'll be permanently damaged and you can't repair it. If all three sections get down to 0%, uh, you lose. Now, once you get the armor and Heartstone, you can uh, pick it up, put it on the mule, and then call in the drop pod and get out. Now, don't forget that you can bring back Doretta uh, to the drop pod. It's up to you whether or not you want to. I always think there's a little bit of that camaraderie uh, with uh, miners where you wouldn't want to leave another dwarf down, so uh, you don't well want to leave Doretta behind either. Uh, now, as you know, the Deep Dive is a three-stage raid-like environment that you can play either by yourself or with up to three other players. Now, these can be friends of yours, or you can matchmake to get the four dwarves. Now, hopefully you'll have a variety of jobs uh, that you're going in. So then no matter what stage you're up against, you're going to be prepared, uh, not only because you have a variety of uh, you know different weapons, but also ways of getting across the map with the different traversal tools now, once you call in the drop pod, you can uh, just follow the mule back or you can race the mule to the drop pod, uh, but then you'll have to kind of wait it out right next to the drop pod. Uh, once the 
mule docks with the drop pod, then the door will be unlocked on the drop pod. You can get in and you can move on to the next stage. So either you have to uh, kind of fight your way back to the drop pod or you have to kind of defend the area around the drop pod uh, from the enemies that are popping up. And that's it for stage one. One down, two to go. Now, one of the big reasons to do the deep dive in general is to get those matrix cores. So you get uh, you know, either a blank matrix core or a cosmetic or a weapon overclock. Now, the second stage of the deep dive has you extracting liquid morkite. So that will be three different pipelines uh, for extraction. And then, of course, you have two alien eggs. Now, this one has lethal enemies. That means that the enemies are going to do increased melee damage for this stage. So try and stay away from them, if at all possible. Now, once you call in the pump jack, you can go over to the rig and start building out the pipeline to where the pump jack is or where it's going to be, depending on how quickly you do it. So all you have to do is uh, you know, make it over there however you can. If it is close by, it should be relatively easy. If it is a little bit in a weird location, you may have to... Uh, you know, dig if you're a driller or, uh, you know, put in some shells or whatever platforms. Uh, once you get that connected, then all you have to do is build the pipeline out to the pump jack. And once you do that for all three pipelines, then you're ready to go. Well, I, I shouldn't say that you're almost ready to go uh, because unlike a normal stage where you are refining liquid morkite uh, this is the deep dive so you have to collect the two alien eggs and drop them into the rig before you'll be able to finish the stage or even uh, attempt to finish the stage so you'll have to get both of those eggs and put them in the rig before you can start refining. It will not let you refine until then. Uh, now, each egg that you get, you do have a chance of starting a swarm. And even if you don't start a swarm, you will have some enemy bugs coming after you because uh, for some reason, they don't like you taking their egg. Now, once the eggs are done and everything is hooked up, you can start refining. It'll start increasing the percentage. Somewhere along the way, you're going to uh, have leaks. So you'll have to go and fix the pipeline in order to progress more. So go ahead and get those fixed as quickly as possible. And once all the pipelines are fixed, uh, you might have one pipeline, two or three. Then it'll start going again. Now, once that's done, all you have to do is send it to orbit and call in the drop pod. Drop pods usually in a uh, more difficult to reach, more secluded location. So if you think you know where that might be, you can start heading that direction before it drops or wait until it drops and then make your way over to it. Now, since there is no mule on the stage, you don't have to wait for it to get onto the drop pod. As soon as the drop pod drops, the door will open and you can move on to the next stage. And there we go. We're already over halfway, over the hump. And we're ready for the third and final stage of the deep dive. All right, we're on to the final stage of the deep dive. Now, this one has Mactera Plague as 
an indicator, and then we have a full salvage mission and one dreadnought. So, because you have Mactera Plague, you're going to see more flyers. Uh, the dreadnoughts, of course, are the bosses of Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, so you have invulnerability stage of the dreadnought and then whatever you need to do sometimes it's just wait sometimes uh, you have to kill certain enemies and then you have a you know kind of a shielding phase and then you have to drop the shield and then you can do the damage phase and then just rinse and repeat depending on which dreadnought you have uh, personally, I think that the Hive Guard is probably the worst one because you have uh, not only the boss, uh, the Hive Guard, but you also have uh, Sentinels that you have to deal with. So it is, or feels like it's a little extra spongy uh, to your damage and your bullets. So go ahead and damage them when the damage phase comes up, uh, however you can. And then move on to the other part of the mission, which of course is the salvage part of the mission. So unlike the first stage where you had to do two mini mules, this one you have three mini mules, uh, just like before. Listen and look for the indicators to tell you where they're at. Get those legs, scan the mini mule if you have to, and then Put them back together. Once you have all of that taken care of, uh, the Dreadnought and the Mini Mules, all of them, uh, you can send them back to that derelict drop pod uh, that is in the stage somewhere. If you're not sure where it is, you can just follow the mules back, uh, but more than likely you'll see it as you're going along. So unlike other stages, all of a sudden now you have to uh, kind of repair the drop pod and get it going and get it ready to get out. Now the deep dive, everything carries over from one stage to the next. So all of your ammo, your health, even whatever you have in your pocket, if you didn't have time to uh, put your resources into the into the mule or the drop pod or the rig, then it'll carry over to that next stage. If you're on the last stage, of course, uh, you have to drop it in the mule or the drop pod before you get out in order for it to count. That's it. Good luck on your deep dive. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm taking some of the ammo. Yes. Strangulation at 75%, almost there. Bosco! Yeah!
connected. Now you just need to prep the fuel cells and the charge sequence will begin. It's overheated. Getting more ammo. Yeah, give me some sugar. Right there. charging. Stay close to keep them up. You're jeopardizing the mission. You need to stay close to the fuel cells. Flammable toxins deployed. Bring the pain! Choke on this! Seventy-five percent. You're almost there. Booyah! Hello and good. engine powering up. Hold your ground. We're almost ready to pull you and the goods out. Hard reactor spooling up. Supply plant requisitioned. Launching now. Hot thrusters calibrated. Roger that. Supplies are coming. Drop pump powered up and ready to leave. It's time to bring it all home. Get on board. We're leaving with or without you. Priority to resupply. 
Stand back to supply pod inbound. <laughs> supply drop has been ordered and is on the way. Resupply arrived. Extraction commencing. Good work. <laughs> 